I often get asked which is better, Matt or Reformer Pilates. Now that depends purely on your goals. If you're looking to stabilize your body through movement without the help of apparatus, Matt Pilates is the one for you. But if you struggle with coordination and mobility in movement, Reformer Pilates helps aid that movement. So if you're looking to improve flexibility, Reformer is fantastic because it gives you that extra push but also helps control the movement. Whereas on the mat, you're focusing more on your body controlling at that movement as well as a force going through it. Now, Reform Pilates adds some resistance, so it's beneficial if you're looking to strengthen, tone, or improve mobility through joints, but at the same time helps increase the elasticity and strength that builds up through the muscles during movement. Both mat and Reform Pilates can be used by majority of the people. I've used it loads with sporting people and athletes because they have specific goals in mind, either looking to strengthen through the core during movement or stabilize the spine in movement. It is particularly effective for those who participate in sport because it gives them or helps them generate power while still maintaining stability through the lower back and through the pelvis. Reformer Pilates can be used for helping improve flexibility as I said before. Now this depends on the type of sport you play. If you're looking to improve flexibility of hamstrings, such as for football, it also helps to strengthen those muscles whilst moving. Alternatively, if you're looking to improve flexibility for poses in yoga, mat pilates is much more beneficial because it helps keep an elongated muscle position whilst holding the pose, as well as strengthening through the core. Both mat and reformer pilates use apparatus or external apparatus to help improve uh, what you're feeling through the exercise. So for instance, on the reformer, we're using springs as an external load, as well as loops and pulleys to help improve that flexibility, mobility, and strengthen the body. On the mat, you can also use apparatus, such as Pilates rings and exercise balls. These act as external pieces of equipment or apparatus that help improve what you're feeling through the exercise. Both mat and reformer provide challenges. On the reformer, you are working against external resistance of the springs, whereas on the mat you're working against your own body weight and gravity. Mat Pilates tends to be harder for the body because you don't have any external support, whereas Reformer Pilates is a little bit more supported. However, saying that, Reformer Pilates also challenges the body. The springs as act as an external load, which as you pull the spring further apart, puts more tension through it, making that exercise harder. So if you want to give either of those a try to feel the difference, we look forward to seeing you. Thank you.